I'm hitting the grocery store. Looking for some healthy snacks. Kale and chia chips, sea salt. Super food, super good. Organic, real fruit. More than two thirds of us rely on labels to help us decide what to buy. So we're taking a closer look at all those healthy promises. Absolutely nothing artificial, no sugar added. Sounds nutritious, but what are we really getting when we buy some of these snacks? How important are food labels when you're shopping for snacks? Uh, pretty important, actually. They're very important to me, and you know, perhaps I'm being a bit naive, but I'm inclined to trust w what it says on the label. So what exactly are companies selling? I'm taking these munchies to someone who can help us see if you can judge a snack by its label. One of Canada's leading registered dietitians, Leslie Beck. There are nutrition buzzwords like whole grain, superfood, real fruit. How much should we trust them? I think manufacturers can put a lot of different words on their product to describe it, which would imply to, to many consumers that this is a healthy product. But I think the bottom line here is you really can't judge a food product by its healthy sounding name. So how about Super Eats kale and chia chips? Sounds healthy, and kale is all the hype these days. So when you see the word kale, what do you think? Uh, kale, yeah. kale is very healthy. Kale and chia chips, Super Eats. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be so much healthier than our classic kind of potato chips, doesn't it? But is it as good for you as you think? So let's look at the ingredient list to, to delve a little bit deeper. Okay. So uh, first ingredient is kale, very good sign, number one ingredient. That means this is a nutritious snack food, but... Let's talk about the sodium in this bag sure. of kale and chia chips. So what this nutrition label is telling us is that 13 chips, 47 grams worth, contains 25% of a day's worth of sodium. So in my opinion, that's a lot of sodium for a very small amount of food. So to put that in perspective, here's what 13 kale chips look like. It's a small serving. Pretty much. Let's compare that now to potato chips. Wow. There are 36 chips in here. There's a little bit more calories per serving, a little bit more fat, but actually less sodium, and it's a lot more, more chips. Yep. Less sodium in almost three times as many Lay's classic potato chips. Super Eats admits their kale chips may not have the lowest sodium, but they say they make it a priority to include wholesome ingredients such as kale, beans, and chia seeds. Sound convincing to you? Ready for the big reveal? 13 of these kale and chia chips have more sodium than 36 Lay's wow. potato chips. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, that is a lot. It's buyer beware. They're not really lying. They're just not really telling all the truth. Time for us to put a little truth in this food fiction. Let's make Super Eats Salty Eats. Kale and Chia Chips. Next up on my shopping list, I'm looking for an energy booster. Cliff Bar. Organic? Sounds nutritious. So what are these popular energy bars really packing? What do you think of this? Well, I mean, it's an energy bar, so that appeals to many people who are wanting more energy or who are exercising. It says 70% organic ingredients. That appeals to a lot of health conscious people as well. So, you know, sounds like a really healthy energy bar. Let's see. When we look at the fine print, there are 23 grams of sugar in this bar, which is five and three quarter teaspoons worth. That's a lot, isn't it? it? It is a lot of sugar. To compare that, that's the same amount of sugar as found in this Kit Kat bar. That's right, this Cliff Bar has about the same sugar in it as a Kit Kat bar. Our expert says there are some healthy ingredients in this bar, like soy crisp and rolled oats. And if you're gonna run a marathon or go on a long bike ride, it's not a bad snack option, but... If I had a client come into my office and say, this is what I'm having sitting at my desk for my afternoon snack, I would steer them away from this. 23 grams of sugar in this Cliff Energy wow. Bar, which is more than a Kit Kat chocolate bar. Wow. So I should you're be shocked. eating Kit Kats and... <laughs> Kit Kats I and Lay's. I am shocked, and... I am shocked. It does make you think twice, absolutely. Cliff tells us their energy bars are crafted for athletes and active people. 
But we think it's time for another label makeover. If you're gonna buy into Cliff and climb that mountain, take a sugar lip. Marketplace, if it tastes too good to be true, it probably is. I'm searching through the grocery aisles, hunting for snacks that pack what they promise. Next up on my snack attack, Kellogg's Nutri-Grain bars. Whole grains, lots of fruit. A big hit with Jerome Stanley and his family. When you look at the box, yeah. what do you see? When you see whole grains, you see pictures of fruit. I certainly get the impression that it's a much healthier option than a lot of things. But registered dietitian Leslie Beck says hold the fruit bar. There's fruit all over this box. Mm -hmm. It says eight grams of whole grains. Looks pretty healthy. It does. I and mean, to a consumer, it would seem like, well, this is a healthy snack bar. What about this strawberry Nutri-Grain okay. bar? The sugar content is 13 grams per bar. What does that compare to? So 13 grams of sugar in this cereal bar is the exact same thing as eating four of these Nabisco Chips Ahoy cookies. Four of these really? little snack pack cookies have 13 grams of sugar in them. You heard right. This Nutri-Grain bar has the same sugar as these four Chips Ahoy cookies. But Kellogg says you're also getting a source of fiber, iron, and whole grains. Time to give the Stanley family the bitter truth. Okay, ready for the big reveal? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I want to know. <laughs> One strawberry Nutri-Grain bar yeah. has the same amount of sugar as four Chips Ahoy cookies. <laughs> no! <laughs> so we could just be giving them uh, cookies for breakfast. Nutri-Grain cookies. Your choice because they have the same amount of sugar. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Yeah, you just wow, feel handcuffed. Would you believe this? Instead of Kellogg's Nutri-Grain bars, how about Kellogg's Nutri-Sweet bars? I've got one last snack stop on the hunt for fruity buzzwords. Real fruit minis. Looks like a healthy snack. With 30% fruit juices and puree. It even says it's ideal for the lunchbox, so it's got to be good for you, right? I would want to read the fine print. Real fruit, it says 30%. So what's the say. other 70%? Let's look at the ingredient list. First ingredient, fruit juice from concentrate. So fruit juice concentrate is an added sugar. That's right. Fruit juice concentrate means you're getting a little fruit with a lot of sugar. Second ingredient is glucose, right. another sugar. Third ingredient, sugar or glucose fructose, another sugar, and then fruit puree. And when we take a closer look, so, well, one pouch, which is 25 grams, has 13 grams of sugar in it. So that is three and one quarter teaspoons worth of sugar in one pack. Oh my. I can show you what one pouch looks like. And yeah. they all look like little fruit. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure they're supposed to. There's zero grams of fiber. There's no vitamin A, no vitamin C. So the amount of fruit in here is minuscule, if at all. What does that compare to? 13 grams of sugar in 10 gummy bears. <laughs> That's their equivalent. Dare tells us their real fruit minis are sold as a fruit flavored treat, so their label is accurate. But our expert says Bottom line, this is candy in disguise. Parents won't like to hear that. 13 grams of sugar in one pouch of these real fruit minis. Yeah. That's the same as 10 Maynard gummies. Hmm and we're giving it to our kids. Yeah, not good. I think it's manipulative. I think it's false. Without any real nutrients in Dare's real fruit minis, we're left asking, where's the real fruit minis? So what can you do the next time you've got a snack attack? Our dietitian has some advice. The first place to start is the ingredient list. The higher up on the list an ingredient is, the more of it you're going to get per serving. The next thing you can look at is the nutrition label. Um, you can look at the grams of sugar, the milligrams of sodium, how much protein is in one serving. And the other thing I would say too is you've got to really pay attention to that serving size. Are you eating one serving or are you eating more? Reading the fine print isn't always easy, but if you take along your Marketplace cheat sheet, you'll learn what's really healthy and what's just plain old hype.